Hi, this is Judy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is from a Facebook Live session wherein I made a layout using the June 2021 stamp of the month. So let's get creating. So I'm using my Versamat on the foam side because I have the long strips to use with this month's stamp of the month. Okay, the quick spiel on this. This is the stamp of the month for June 2021. You may purchase this from close to my heart for $18.95. Or with a $50 order, you can get it for $5. Or if you are a VIP, you will get it for free. So it's really cool. It is uh, all to do with summer and um, hiking or mountains, camping flip-flops, a heat wave, I call it. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like a heat wave to me. So it's really cool borders. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine borders. So it's a really good value. All right, so four, four. anyone who gets that from me will receive not card kits. Finally, I did a script with Paige. So you will get everything you need to make this scrap of page except for the base card stock because it would be a 12 by 12 and it would cost too much to mail. Um, so you'll need a base card stock and I used a piece of craft for this. You could use white or any color that you want. And I also have photo mats here and put something on there. <laughs> You'll need photo mats. I didn't include photo mats because I don't know what size photos you may use with your pictures that you could put on this. One other thing I want to mention is you can use all these elements in any way you want to. This is only my representation to give you an idea of something to do. So you can change it up however you would like. Okay, but you'll receive everything to make it except for the base page and the photo mats. Okay? So what you will get in the mail is this little baggie and you will get all the strips of cardstock and the cardstock is double sided so you get two of each color so sapphire bluebell and you can see one side is light one side is dark so you get two colors with <laughs> out of one piece right so that's how you get that nice variation of colors so two of the carolina this is scarlet, almond, and sage. And my husband just got home from work, so the dogs and he are upstairs. In case you hear noises in the background, that's what that is. Okay. Um, here, you will also get the title, which is Wide Open Spaces. And, of course, you do not have to use all these elements or that title. You can change it up. You will get a bike that is cut out and some mountains and these mountains will be layered on top of the white to look like they have snow on them and these are all cut from a cricket so if you have any little pieces of paper in them that's why um, I tried to get all the little pieces of paper out but I may miss some so you will get some little trees and these actually layer perfectly together so that you get a dark layer to give it some dimension. I liked putting them offset, but usually the dark goes in the back, just so you know, you know, it's a shadow. And you can layer them however you like. So you get two sets of the trees, and then you get some hiking boots, and you get the tread, and the laces. And there's the other lace right there. So you just have to put all those together and then put them on your page and you will have a scrap of page in a matter of a few minutes depending on how detailed you want to get. So I, let's see, I'll tell you what I did. I layered this up on foam adhesive. I, it looks like I used some uh, inking on the back of that because our paper is white core, so you do have some of the white showing through. Um, I distressed the edges of all the strips 
to add a more textured look. Um, this one I did the the dark in the background of the um, the trees. Now I do want to mention some of the trees might be single sided. Let's see, this this is old our old paper that is not two sided. So these are the dark color, which is the original color. The light color is new. So some of the kits may have the old paper in them because I tried to use my scraps up and didn't realize it was just one color when I did that. So if you get the kit, just note that some of those trees may be one-sided. So here I put the dark in the background in these two and layered the mountain range a little bit back. Um, the idea for using this scrapbook page is to use your stamps to add texture and dimension to the paper strips. So you can see I used the stamp on these strips to add dimension on them. Okay, so that's what I did in using the stamp. And I also have one here to have like um, ground texture for the boots. Now I do note when I made these boots, I made them and they're facing that way. I usually have them going in. So, um, you know, that's just something I mentioned. I like to have my elements going into the page and not out of the page so because it'll lead your eye off the page so right here the bike is going this way the boots are going this way so your eye is looking towards the right off of the page instead of into the page but you know it's a design idea aspect not you don't have to follow it I'm sure whoever looks at your pages is going to look at the pictures, <laughs> but that is my thought whenever I do elements is to have them going into the page. So when I make these ones to put the page together for you tonight, I made the boots going the other way. So, And I have one lighter and one darker because it's just um, the way it was. <laughs> These are, I use the pieces that may not cut perfectly on the Cricut, and this one didn't have all the little holes cut out, so I used that one and didn't realize it was the light side of the almond paper, but it's okay. I'm okay with it. Um, you know, it just adds another dimension to it. So, this is my craft piece of paper that I'm going to use, and all my elements. And the photo mats are four and a quarter by six and a quarter, so that it fits a four, you know, four by six photo. All right, so I already went ahead and did all my strips except for the scarlet, so I can show you what I did. I stamped the heat wave on the Carolina, and the bluebell. I actually have don't have my bluebell ink pad. It is at another location, so I use pewter ink to stamp the heat wave. And on the sapphire, I stamped with sapphire. All the other ones I did tone on tone. So the almond is with almond. The sage is with sage. And the mountains, the little tree mountains. So there's the other almond. Okay. Um, so for the stamping portion, I'm going to do Happy Camper, which is this one here, Happy Camper Back to Nature Scenic View. And I don't know where I'm going to put my photos, so I don't know what ones are going to, what uh, portion of the stamp set is going to show. So I'm just going to put it over the whole section and I lay it out on my paper because I can never get it straight um, you know trying to put it on the block that way so if I do it this way it's easier I know it's straight and it doesn't stick to the paper like if I did it um, on my glass mat it kind of sticks to the glass mat and I'm going to use my scarlet ink pad and I'm just going to ink the whole thing up. Oh, I'm going to get my scrap paper. Okay, and I'm going to stamp on one light side and one dark side. 
because the layers are light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And put it there. And because I can't put my head right over top, I'm kind of do it um, where I'm putting the one edge down and then I put the rest of it down. And I'm going to hit that one okay. So it lined up pretty good. And because some of it will be covered, hopefully no one will notice it's not perfect. I have gotten over trying to be perfect. Because <laughs> I've never succeeded at it. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, isn't it nice to have a nice, refreshing, cool day today? Here in western New York. It might be a little too cool for some of us, but for the first day of summer coming next week, and I'm using my stamp chamois to clean off my stamp. So with this um, scrap of page, you can use all the same stamp. You can use different ones that I used, of course, different colors. You know, it's just a very versatile. It's really good for doing scrapbook pages um, with these border stamps. I, the, this is one of my favorite kind of stamps is the borders. So, I'll put that back so I don't lose any of it. Okay. So, now I'm going to lay these out so I know where they are. Oh, I gotta, I gotta distress these. Okay, so we did have a distress tool. We don't have it anymore, but close to my heart. But if you use your scissors, it's just to the corner. You could open your scissors, but they're really sharp, and I don't want to dull them by roughing my paper up with them. So I'm just going to use them closed. Um, you can use any kind of a metal tool or a distressor if you have it. My distressor is at another location. So... Oh, and I hope no one's leaving me comments because I don't see any comments. I see there are people I'm watching. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can see any. Swipe left. Oh, Cheryl, hi. I am making a scrapbook page. Um, this is for the stamp of the month. And thank you for coming on to join me. You guys should have stopped to see me at the horse show when you went to Butler because that's right where I was. <laughs> I hope you didn't spend a lot of money, but I hope you got a lot of good things. I unfortunately don't have a vehicle when I'm down there, so I can't leave the grounds to go scrapbook shopping. I have to stay with my horse, which is okay. I spend enough money there. <laughs> Okay, so that's how I distress this, those little paper strips. Now I did know these are an inch by eight and a half. Um, after I distressed them, they didn't quite fit on my other page. I had a little bit left in the bottom. So I'm going to lay them out this time so I know that they are going to fit along the page. I'm going dark light, dark light. And some of these papers are, it's hard to tell after they're distressed and inked and they're stamped and inked. So, there. So that's how they're going to get laid out. And um, I'm just going to use my liquid glue because it's quick and easy. So, I guess... I'm just going to make sure I don't have them precisely butting up against each other. Oh, and don't you know my glue gets plugged? Oh, there it goes. All right. And this glue is great. It's cheap and efficient, but if you get it on your fingers, your fingers will be sticky forever. Or until you take a shower and wash your hair. But don't get it in your hair. <laughs> don't get it in your hair. Oh. Yeah, it's, it, it dries sticky. That's the 
what its intended purpose is. So anything you get on is sticky. So when you lay out your pieces, don't have to get them precisely butted up to each other. You want to leave a little bit of room because you just if you distress the edges, it takes away just a little bit of height to on the strips. I like this one. It's over the hill and through the woods with little boots. And I could have offset the stamping, but I didn't, you know, just to, to give it a little more variety. So, and I um, have the new catalog that's coming out. By the way, we will have a new catalog coming out in August. So the catalog we have now is May and June. Then we will have one for July and August. And then we will have a brand new catalog the beginning of, let me see, I just want to make sure I say it right. I think the current big catalog we have is through August. Okay. So September 1st, we'll have a new big catalog and a new mini catalog. But the catalog that's coming up for July and August, it's really cute, as you see. Any gnome lovers out there, be ready. I like our gnomes. They, um, they're very adorable. They're not cutesy cutesy, and they're not, like, goofy looking. They're just adorable. Um, so, yeah, we have some summer themed gnomes coming up. And I will be getting on probably the end of the month to do a catalog walkthrough because I will not be available at the very end of the month through the 4th. So, if you want to see it, be ready. You can catch the replay. So... And this um, scrapbook page, you can use this design for so many different ideas. It's really cool using these strips of paper to um, use a lot of your scraps up. You know, you especially double-sided paper, use one side and then the other side to make your strips. Our paper is really good for it because it's, you know, the two colors. I think we may be the only ones that have cardstock like that. I'm not sure, but I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. Oh, and look, now because I didn't butt it up really tight, I am overlapping. <laughs> it's not going to fit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. I'll show you the other page. Why I... Said that. Let me make sure I don't get any uh, glue on my versa mat. I should have put it on the craft. So I'm over. I will have to trim that off. That's okay. But see, on this one, I butted them up really close and I had this much left. Now, I didn't butt it up and I, had, I was overlapping. Or I wasn't tight enough. So, just so you know, <laughs> butt them up, but not too tight, right? <laughs> so, I'll trim that off after. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I would glue all of my little pieces together, which I already did. Oh, and I have to stamp my heat wave here for my dirt. And I'm going to put this bike here, which is over the Enjoy the Ride. So that's why I have it there. You know, but if you don't put Enjoy the Ride there, then you know you don't have to worry about lining it up. I put my title right in the middle. Because I want my title, I want it to I want you to see it, but I don't want it to be bam in your face. So it's okay. You could put wide open spaces over here. And then it would really show up better. You know, so you can make them any way you want. Put the bike here. And let's see, put a picture here. And 
put it in my trees. Hold up a picture. Put this behind. Lots of different ideas. Lots and lots. Same here, same here. Here, and then I have another picture here. Depending on what's in your pictures, right? Then you can have your boots down here, however you like them, right? So that's just another way to do it. I'm not going to glue them down because I may, you know, depending on what pictures I put with this, I can change it up. And then if I want to make it a two a two page. Because I already have one, I can change it to um, look better with this one. And I don't have to have wide open spaces again. I can put a different title on it. So that is the free kit you will get if you get the stamp of the month. And I, if let me know if you like the card kits or scrapbook kits, or you know if I should just like switch them up every other month depending on what the stamp of the month is. Um, the next one is also going to be good for um, scrapbook pages. It's like uh, woods and stuff. I don't think I have it right here. Maybe. Yeah, I do. Here it is. Strong root. So it has um, home where the heart is, keys, some trees. So it, you can make a scene with this one as well. Our family tree has strong roots because of you. So this is July's stamp of the month. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. Sumalacker, hello. Thank you, Shofar. I like this one, too. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> you could put a deer on it, right? Um, Debbie, what are these border stamps? And what was the cloth you cleaned with? Um, the border stamps, this is a stamp of the month from Close to My Heart. Um, you can get it for $18.95 or with a $50 order you can get it for $5 or if you're a VIP um, which is something you sign up for every uh, for a year for $35 you sign up your VIP you get a $15 credit and then every month you get a free stamp of the month with a $50 order and you get 15% in credit toward for ever, ever, any purchase you make. So let's say you purchase $100 worth of stuff, you'll get $15 in credit for your next order. That's how the VIP program works. I can give you more information if you like. Um, but you get a free stamp of the month every month with a $50 order if you're a VIP. Otherwise, you get it for $5 with a $50 order. Or you can just buy it outright for $18.95. But I send you this kit for free if you get this, if you, let's say you have a hundred dollar order, you can get two of these for $5 each. Or if you're VIP, you get one for free and one for $5. So you'll get two kits, which I have someone I have to send two kits to. And that will be going out as soon as I get the video up so I can link it in the, um, the directions that I send with the kit. So I will link the video so you can always go back and check this video out either here on Facebook or on YouTube. So um, that is that. Um, let's see. And oh, the cloth I cleaned. This is our stamp chamois. It's squishy and you wet it with water and just water and it cleans your stamps. It doesn't have any lint to it. It's really cool. And I think you get two of them. Let me see. I have them for sale at the crops that I go to. I think for $6. But you, you can get them with an order. And here, there they are. You get two of them for 11 but then you pay, you know, shipping and tax on them with your order. And then there's also a starter kit where you can get the stamp chamois, the ink pad, and um, one of the stamping blocks. But that is the stamp chamois. And I think uh, there's probably several companies that have them. Um, you know, it's like an absorbent, really clean 
cloth that is not doesn't have any lint to it is what it says so it cleans your stamps phenomenally well so any other questions okay not that i see oh sue so yes wait till you or wait till you see what these gnomes are i'll be getting on probably let's see what is today the 16th probably in another 10 days i'll get on and do the catalog walkthrough but um it's right here do you want to see what the gnomes look like does anyone say yes i want to see the gnomes all right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to find them. I'm not supposed to show, so don't anybody tell that I showed. Oh, and there's a really cute dog and kitty one, too. Oh, my goodness, it's so cute. Hang on. All right, ready? Here's the gnomes. Aren't they cute? He's eating watermelon, and he's grilling out, and he's got sunglasses. Okay, that's enough. All right. <laughs> sneak peek okay don't anybody tell on me thank you much for watch, staying and watching this with me thank you cheryl <laughs> um take care i can't wait to see everybody again soon after summer but keep being creative bye bye